Hey everybody, in this video we're talking about the chain rule part two. In the last video, we learned that the chain rule tells us how to find the derivative of a composition of functions. If our function is f of g of x, the derivative is f prime of g of x times g prime of x. But there's another form of the chain rule, which says dy dx equals dy du times du dx. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to find derivatives using this form of the chain rule. For example, suppose we need to find the derivative of y equals the quantity of 3x squared plus four to the 51st power. We're gonna use something called u substitution. We're gonna let u equal 3x squared plus four, the inner function. That means y equals u to the 51st power. So now I'm gonna take the derivative of y with respect to u. That would give us 51 times u to the 50th power. I'm also gonna take the derivative of u with respect to x. du dx equals six x. The chain rule states that dy dx equals dy du times du dx. That gives us 51 u to the 50th power times six x. Now we can replace u with three x squared plus four, and we have the derivative. 51 times the quantity of 3x squared plus 4 to the 50th power times 6x. And if we want, we can multiply the 51 times 6x to simplify the algebra. So the trick with u substitution is to let u be the inner function. Let's look at another example. Here we have y equals the cube root of x squared plus 5x. So we're gonna let u be the inner function, which is x squared plus 5x. Note that we can transform y to be x squared plus 5x to the one third power. Now we can take the derivative of y with respect to u. That gives us one third u to the negative two thirds power. Then we also take the derivative of u with respect to x, which is just two x plus five. Then we put the pieces together dy dx equals dy du times du dx. That would give us one third u to the minus two thirds times the quantity of two x plus five. Now we can replace u with x squared plus five x. We can simplify the algebra by keeping the two x plus five in the numerator and moving the x squared plus five x to the negative two thirds to the denominator and converting that to a radical. So that leaves us with 2x plus 5 divided by 3 times the cube root of the quantity of x squared plus 5x squared. And that's the derivative. So let's review the chain rule. If we have a composition of functions, y equals f of g of x, then y prime equals f prime of g of x times g prime of x. Or we can use u substitution and then dy dx equals dy du times du dx. Both forms will get you to the correct answer just through a different path. Which form do you prefer? In any case, you need to know both. And one helpful way to memorize this is through music. Click the link in the video description to hear the song performed by my daughter and me. And then you'll truly know the chain rule. And that's how you'll rock calculus. Yeah.